I wish if I can get it open, it just kind of like, ooh, sends shivers down my spine a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another new at the drugstore haul and first impressions slash review video for y'all. I already put up one a little while ago and I've got this one today and then I'm probably gonna have another one. Well, I'm for sure gonna have another one. And then I may even have like another video on just new wet and wild stuff. So I have several more new at the drugstore type videos coming for y'all. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you have your notifications on if you want to know when I have new videos going up. So you will know when I have new drugstore goodies to be talked about on my channel. So yeah, lots to talk about today. So let's get into it. Starting off with Physicians Formula, they have some new highlight and contouring palettes. This first one is in matte sculpting. So I have been using this since I got it and I'm loving this thing, loving it. So it's like a little, you know, long sort of packaging. It is kind of wide. Um, Physicians Formula kind of does that a lot. They kind of have like bulky packaging. It's always really cute, but it's usually kind of bulky. So you open it up and there's no mirror in here. Oh, there is a mirror. It's on the back. It's underneath the bulky packaging. It's right in here. It does come with a brush. I haven't used the brush, so let's see if it's, I mean, in a pinch, it's soft, so it's definitely usable. You know, you could use it for like carving out. So I need to try that because maybe it'll be like a, I don't know, moving towards like a NARS Eda type brush. So I'll give that a go. I haven't tried that out, but I've been trying the powders out multiple days, many, many days actually. And I think these are great. They are so nice and pigmented really, really creamy in texture. They're a very kind of like buttery texture. They blend really well into the skin, wear well throughout the day. What I've been doing is I kind of do a combo of these two colors. Um, you really can't see the light highlight color and I really haven't been grabbing for that one. Like this is not a shade that, I don't use matte highlighters a ton. Um, sometimes on my eyes, but not on my face really. So I haven't gotten a lot of use out of that, but these two I like to mix and use them for um, just, you know, contouring, kind of giving like my skin some warmth. And I think that they are great. And I like that they really thought about um, what they included in this palette and they did one that's more cool toned and one that's slightly more warm toned. Um, so you kind of have options that you can either just go with a straight cool toned or add in a little bit of this one to add some darkness, but also um, some warmth. So really, really liking this palette. I think it's awesome. And then this one is also a highlight and contour palette, but this is in Shimmer Strobing. So this is supposed to be more for the adding some glow to your skin and just, you know, highlighting up a little bit. So this one is beautiful too. I haven't really been using the bronzy color in this trio just because um, that doesn't really like work for me as any kind of a highlighter, but I could use it on my eyes because I have used um, the other two on my eyes and these work on the eyes, they work on the face. They are ridiculously pigmented. Like a little bit goes a long way with these, but they are so creamy, buttery, pigmented. They blend like a dream into the skin. I'm so impressed with these. So if you are looking for like a really fun highlighting palette from the drugstore, but that can also be used on your eyes. I think this one is a great option. And I've used the other ones, the matte ones on my eyes as well. They work amazingly on the eyes also. So I'm super impressed with these highlight and contour palettes. I think they are amazing quality, really easy to work with, just great products. I've already mentioned these in a Friday Favorites because I really enjoy these too. These are the Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. So if you love the butter bronzer, I think you will really love these too. So there are two different shades. There is Natural Glow, which is kind of like a lighter, glowier sort of a color. And then there is Plum Rose, which is a very neutral, everyday kind of a color. And these do have the same scent as the butter bronzers. So if you like that kind of like, it's sort of coconutty, a little bit perfumey. Honestly, the scent has grown on me because at first with the butter bronzer, I was like, ooh, it's really strongly scented. But I like that bronzer so much that I think the scent has kind of like grown on me. Kind of like the Maybelline lipsticks. Like when I first started using Maybelline lipsticks, I was like, what is this smell? But I love those lipsticks. So 
Now it's like a, oh, I love my, my Maybelline lipsticks. So when I smell it, it's like, that's my Maybelline lipsticks. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I feel about my butter bronzer. So that was a tangent. Did I already mention that the, it's got the little like same pattern as the butter bronzer, which is so cute. Really, really pretty packaging. It is bulky though. So just know that about it. Kind of bulky packaging. It does come with the, um, uh, what's that little thing? It's like a little spongy. I'm in the middle of swatching and I'm just talking about everything that's going on with the packaging here. So bulky packaging, see that? Um, it does have a little two-sided spongy thing. I never use the spongy thing, but you know, if you like the spongy thing in the uh, butter bronzer, you got some more spongy things in these too. So, so plum rose is really kind of like, it's almost like a really cool toned, taupey natural pink. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see those on my skin, but I've worn them multiple times and I really do like them. I think they're really pretty. Let me try to build up that swatch of plum rose a little bit for you, a little bit more. It is very light. These are both very, very light. Um, I mean, I'm fair complected and I have to build up plum rose. So this one may not work for everybody. I really don't think it's going to work for everybody, but I think that this one in natural glow will work for everybody, either as a blush, a blush topper, or as a highlighter, depending on your skin tone. So there are those. So really nice texture on them. Really, really fun to use just because they work well and they wear well and they're really, really cute to look at in the packaging. Jordana has some new contouring and highlighting sticks. These are the Sculpt and Go and the Glow and Go. So let's start with this one, the Sculpt and Glow Creamy Contour Stick. So I am wearing this today, but I do have the Physicians Formula on on top of it. I like this a lot. I think this is very nice quality. It's very cool toned. So it's definitely a contouring stick. It's really not for bronzing at all because it's so gray toned. But I mean, this blends really well into the skin. I've been using um, my uh, stippling brush for this. That doesn't look like it's blending very well on my hand, but just know on my face, it blends well. <laughs> I'm guessing it's because I've been using makeup removing wipes and all kinds of situations on my hand. But it's a very cool toned, like taupey chocolatey sort of a brown. So great for contouring. Um, you have to obviously like a stick sort of a product um, to like this product. You know, some people like cream contours, some people don't. I'm really more, I prefer powder um, contour products. But as far as this one, like when I use a cream, I want it to blend well and this blends well and I like the packaging of it. It's cute, it's pretty looking. And then the Glow and Go Creamy Strobing Stick. I love the packaging on this with the white and the kind of like iridescent duochrome sort of design on it. It's really, really pretty in the packaging. Um, this is 01 Pearl Glow. I forgot to mention that this other one is in 01 Light and it says Sculpt in under 30 seconds and Highlight in under 30 seconds. So it's supposed to be like, you know, quick, easy cream highlighting and contouring sort of products. And I think that each of them had three different shades. So three different contour colors, three different highlight colors. So I got 01 Pearl Glow. The other two were kind of more golden and then bronzy, which I don't think would have worked for my skin tone. So I picked the lightest color. And while this like starts out looking really pretty in a swatch, when I blend this on my skin, I feel like it's just very subtle. So it's not my favorite cream highlighter I've ever used just because it's so subtle. Like it's, I've got it on today, but I do have something over it. So you're really not going to like see what this truly looks like. Um, but if you are looking for a more subtle everyday highlighter in a cream sort of a product, and especially in a stick product that makes it super quick and easy, you may really like this and it has a good price point. I think it was like $4.99. But for me personally, I wish it had a little bit more like, well, bam, pigment to it, you know? A little bit more metallic, a little bit more pigmented, and a little bit more intense. But it's still pretty. I just wish it had a little bit more something to it. Milani has quite a few new products. They have a new scrub, 
I think it's a lip scrub, might be a face scrub, but they have a scrub of some kind. They have a concealer. They had a highlight and contour duo type of a product. One side was like a cream contour and one side was a liquid highlight. Those didn't really stick out to me as much, but these looked really pretty to me. They, they had three different shades in this sort of a product. This is the Face and Eye Strobe Palette, and this is in 02 Candlelight, and it just looks so pretty. Now I will say, I've mentioned this before, y'all probably know this, that I wish, if I can get it open, I wish they had their own little homes like, I love how pretty it looks in the pan, but it always just irks me a little bit when a product, like, shares a pan. Because I'm going, how do I just get this bronzer? You know what I mean? Or I just want this highlight. So, it stresses me out when they're just, like, the two products are touching. I know that's probably just me, but I'm just that way. It just kind of, like, ooh, sends shivers down my spine a little bit. But let me give you some swatches of this. This is really beautiful. It is very, very glowy, metallic, pigmented. Now this is the highlighter that I'm wearing today and I do have a little bit of this blush on top. I'm also wearing um, Too Faced Sweet Beach Collection, the Papa Don't Peach blush. So I do have a little bit of this on, but it's over something else. But I will show you swatches. They, these are really, really nice. They are very, very buttery. They're easy to work with. That highlighter, is amazing so yes gorgeous so i really really like the products inside i think they're really nice quality easy to work with beautiful shades it's kind of like a um like just a really pretty glowy pink um kind of a warm pink this is like a a nice kind of warm toned bronzer i would have to pretty much just use that on my eyes and then this is a really pretty kind of like icy sort of a highlight. Um, so I really like the products in here. I think it's really pretty looking in the pan. It's just kind of a personal preference that, you know, I don't know. I'm, I feel mixed about it because I think it's really, really pretty and fun. But long term, like I would never be able to probably use up this product because inevitably they're going to like overlap at some point. And how am I going to get in there to get that last little line? I don't know, why am I stressing over a makeup product? But I guess I am for some weird reason. All right guys, so that wraps up this what's new at the drugstore haul and first impressions video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what goodies you have been finding in the drugstore. I would love to know that. What are your thoughts on those products? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.